Just want to go over real quick uh, what I personally believe is the best all around bait casting reel series, uh, plural. These are the uh, Abu Garcia uh, C3 and C4 reels. I know some of you guys are uh, freaking out because all of these I have are left handed. Uh, that is how I fish. For those of you that are already somewhat familiar with these reels, they do come in left and right handed uh, models. Uh, there are several different number classifications for them. The uh, larger ones are 6501s here. Uh, that's what the blue ones are too, is 6501. Just the silvers are uh, C3s. The blues are C4s. The uh, big difference between these two is the uh, ratio of speed for these. The uh, silver, the C3s are a little bit slower, the 531s. The uh, C4s are uh, 631s. So they're a little bit faster. Uh, none of these are going to uh, be ideal for uh, buzz baits, but there's nothing else really I think you... Me personally, I don't believe you need a super fast reel. I'm sure some of you are going to disagree with that. But uh, this is what I use the vast majority of the time when I am bait casting uh, with reels, whether it be for uh, bass, striped bass, catfish. These things uh, can uh, pretty much do it all. Uh, many of them have uh, clicker settings on there where you can push this forward uh, and uh, it will make a little noise as line is being pulled out. Uh, you don't see a thumb bar on these. That's a thumb brake button, though the newer models, some of them do have the uh, thumb in the middle. I like this model better. It's easy to get used to, especially if that's what you started off with, but it's not hard to get used to uh, using this to uh, go ahead and uh, disengage the reel and cast. These are pretty forgiving on backlashes uh, compared to a lot of the more modern reels out there. Uh, I love them personally. Uh, you don't hear a lot about them these days. Why? Because they've stood the test of time and uh, they don't break. They don't get replaced very often. Uh, you can and uh, you can get the uh, few parts on these. You can order the parts online. You can watch YouTube videos and figure out how to replace the parts yourself. Or you can go to a uh, reputable uh, dealership that can uh, fix, repair these for you. Uh, this one here, my dad, uh, I passed this down to me. It's been around since the 80s. Uh, I've got three, like the uh, 6501 C4 like this. I got those in the latter part of the 90s. I uh, fish more than most people do, and uh, they've been able to take the test of uh, time. Uh, now, is this the perfect reel for marlin? No, I'm not saying it's that all-purpose, but for uh, large catfish, striped bass, bass, this is what has uh, worked for me over uh, decades now and I think it's uh, the best all-around reel uh, for its durability, for its reliability, and the uh, fact that uh, you can get parts and uh, continue to maintain and keep these reels. Uh, the newer stuff, uh, by the time you need parts for them, surprise, they no longer make them. That's Something I've learned in time, the latest and greatest is not that great. These things, uh, I'm probably going to be uh, fishing with them until I leave this earth. And I highly uh, recommend them. As you can see, fish everything from lighter, smaller crankbaits on here to larger baits. I've used uh, four ounces to... Uh, Faster currents, uh, bottom fishing with uh, live and uh, dead bait. They're just great multi purpose reels. And what I've got these uh, spooled with, every single one of them, is going to be a braided line. Now, with these, I've got a, a piece of uh, tape on the base of all these to help that uh, braid. 
uh, stay in place and not slip. I highly uh, recommend uh, you do that. Uh, some people uh, like to do a mono backing for the first few spools, then do a uni to uni, and uh, spool it up the rest of the way. I just, the one time I do that, I'm sort of on mind, I'll get spooled, it'll snap off, and well, I will have learned my lesson the hard way. So I just do straight braid from the base up. Uh, with having such a large line capacity on these reels, I'm able to do uh, something that I call long line trolling. I can go over 100 yards back with baits, like this crankbait here. I can go over 100 yards back, uh, troll uh, nice and slow, and hook into some awesome fish that uh, I could no way possibly catch uh, using a traditional uh, spool size reel. Uh, some of you are going to probably also say, well, I love Shimano. Well, great. Keep on loving Shimano. Uh, one of the uh, first bait casting reels I ever had was a uh, round Shimano, and it broke off uh, the uh, level land on that thing, broke off, and I probably lost the biggest striped bass of my life. So I'm a lifelong hater of all things uh, Shimano when it comes to reels. I'll never own one and I'll discourage anybody else after just having that one nightmarish experience. These have never failed me. I have uh, hundreds, probably more like thousands of hours of experience with these and I highly recommend them. Uh, something else that uh, you can do, you'll see the prices on them brand new. It's going to be over $100. Uh, this one here, perfectly serviceable. I haven't spooled it up yet. I got it for $35 from uh, eBay, uh, from a reputable uh, dealer on there. And all I've got to do is basic maintenance of cleaning it, and I'm good to go. A uh, whole lot uh almost a hundred dollar savings from buying it new i'm going to include the link for uh, you to be able to buy these on amazon and ebay i hope this helps you all out and have a blast today if you uh, consider this helpful please consider subscribing and watching more